everyone, this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com. Today we're taking a look at the Dell Latitude E6520. This is a 15.6 inch business notebook. Uh, we've looked at the smaller, less rugged cousin, the E5420. Uh, now we're taking a look at one that's designed to handle the rigors of the road with some mil-spec uh, ratings and a really powerful Core i7 processor. We also have a beautiful 1080p HD display tucked in here. I'm going to give you a look around the device and then we'll take a peek inside. We have a tri-metal case and with this what we get is some fingerprints will stay here but for the most part we have a beautiful looking display you can see we have some ridges here along the front edge and what we get with that is just a, a nice looking design if we swing over to the side here we have a express card slot a Wi-Fi switch firewire USB 2.0 USB 2.0 eSATA HDMI along the back corner you'll see we have Ethernet Kensington a nice 9 cell battery, it does stick out, uh, but it does give us decent battery life. And then coming around the other side we also have power and another USB 2.0 slot. Along the other side of the device we have VGA, USB 2.0, mic headphone, combo jack, and a vent as well as a smart card slot as well. The front, not a whole lot to see. We do have a sturdy latch so you will um, be able to keep your notebook closed, pop open when you want it to, and SD card slot right up front. As we open up the E6520, one thing that we really like is the 1080p HD display. So we still have a 15.6 inch display, uh, as is common on many business notebooks. But what you don't see a lot on business notebooks is a 1080p option in this size range. Usually that's reserved uh, for the 17.3 inch range. With this we're able to put two documents up side by side. Here we're looking at two web pages. We have enough room for the content and the sidebar. Perfect for comparing an Excel document, and a Word document, annual report. Pretty much anything you want you can put up here and compare side to side. Best of all, it's only a $130 option. So if you're getting this notebook, I highly suggest you spring for that. With that you get a display guarantee uh, that covers the display. You'll notice we also have a low light sensitive webcam, which is another option you can add with a digital array microphone. Let's take a look. As you can see here, we have a full size keyboard with a number pad. This keyboard is a hybrid style, so instead of chiclet or island where you have defined space between each key, here we have a curved key face, which is very nice, and then there's a drop set all around it. Uh, what this gives us is a little bit more space in between the keys without going to a full island style keyboard. This keyboard is spill resistant and backlit. So you can see we turn on the backlighting here. There are four degrees of backlighting off and then you can go through in 25% increments to kind of hit that sweet spot between battery life, backlighting, and whatever environment you're in. As we move on to the mouse pad, you'll see that we have a pointer stick like is common on many ThinkPad notebooks and a lot of these business notebooks that are in the higher end. And we have our three mouse buttons that go with that. We have a decent size mouse pad as well as two dedicated uh, left and right mouse buttons. Starting up here with the pointer stick, you'll notice it's pretty flush. It's a little bit more flush than we'd like. Um, while it is precise, it can be a bit hard to get your finger on, especially if you have anything on your finger, if you're drinking a pop or something, a little perspiration will give you a bit of a slippery surface there. These mouse buttons up here are handy if you do prefer that method, but what that does is it limits our size of the actual mouse pad. So when we get down here, we have a decent multi-touch mouse pad. It supports two-finger scroll, pinch to zoom. We can also do a flick to load a new web page uh, or any other customizable gesture from a predetermined set. Uh, we also have a three finger tap to do certain gestures as well. Mouse buttons offer good feedback and are dedicated which is nice. One of the other nice things about the E6520 is that it passes mil-spec ratings uh, for ruggedness. So 
In addition to getting a notebook that has a really solid feel uh, across the keyboard, the case, really strong hinges, you get a notebook that's been designed to handle the rigors of going out into the business world. It's not something you're going to take out into a police car or out into the Sahara or something like that, but it should handle the day-to-day -day hazards that business users run into while they're out on the road. Now, you might say a 15.6 inch notebook, that's kind of large for taking out on the road. And I'll give you this, this isn't an ultra portable, but with the Core i7 processor that we get in here, nice nine cell extended battery, and a beautiful 1080p HD display, it's really something where if you want to go on the road and not sacrifice any power, this is a good notebook to take. Head on over to notebooks.com, take a full look at the Dell Latitude E6520.